Hello friends, welcome to Gyno Talk. I am Dr. Safina Anas, Specialist Laparoscopic Gynecologist at Astor Hospital, Dubai. Today, I will discuss about ectopic pregnancy. An ectopic pregnancy occurs when a fertilized egg implants and grows outside the cavity of the uterus. Ectopic pregnancy most often occurs in a fallopian tube which is called tubal pregnancy. Sometimes ectopic can occur in other areas such as ovary, abdominal cavity, cervix, caesarean scar, etc. Rarely ectopic may coexist with a normal intrauterine pregnancy. An ectopic pregnancy can't proceed normally. The growing tissue can cause life-threatening bleeding if left untreated. Symptoms you may not have any symptoms at first. The usual symptoms of pregnancy like missed period, breast tenderness and nausea will be there. Pregnancy test will be positive. What are the warning signs of ectopic pregnancy? Pelvic pain and light vaginal bleeding may occur. When you miss your period, you should perform a pregnancy test and consult your doctor at around 5 to 6 weeks of pregnancy to confirm the pregnancy inside the uterus. This will help in early diagnosis and treatment of ectopic. Make sure to visit your doctor even sooner if you experience abdominal pain or bleeding with a positive pregnancy test as this can be the early sign of an impending rupture of an ectopic. How can we diagnose ectopic? Diagnosis of ectopic pregnancy can be done with the serial monitoring of a hormone called beta HCG and transvaginal ultrasound. Treatment of ectopic depends on the gestational age, symptoms and location of the gestational sac etc. Advanced ectopic pregnancy usually present with a rupture and will have severe pain and bleeding. In this case, surgical treatment that is either laparoscopic or open method is needed. Medical management is an option in case of an early ectopic before the onset of symptoms. What are the risk factors? Scarred or blocked tube due to prior surgery or infection and pregnancy due to IVF. Is it possible to prevent ectopic? There is no way to prevent an ectopic pregnancy, but you can reduce your risk that is prevent the risk of sexually transmitted infection and reduce the risk of pelvic inflammatory disease by using condoms during sex and avoid smoking can also reduce the risk. Hope this information is useful to you. Thank you and see you next time with another topic.